Hi students, it's a wonderful day in the studio and today I am going to show you how to trim a plate. So to get started, I'm gonna turn the camera down and I have a plate that I threw earlier. You can see that it's untrimmed and it's fairly chunky. I probably have about a half an inch of thickness here that I need to remove, um, but my plate is leather hard and it's ready to trim. Unlike other forms which have a very defined interior, it's sometimes hard to figure out exactly where you're gonna place your foot ring on a plate. If you make your foot ring too narrow, then your plate tips and moves every time you stab your salad with your fork. And if it's really wide, they look sort of clunky and then they can be really heavy. So you have to determine sort of where the foot, where the floor curves up into the wall, just like you do your other plates or your other forms. And that'll kind of help you guide the foot ring later. So I'm gonna set this upside down and I'm gonna to start to center my clay on the wheel. I just have a pencil here, which gives me a mark and I can see that my line is not going all the way around. So I find the ends of the line that I drew and I find the middle and this is the part that's uh, not sticking out enough. So I need to scooch the clay just a fraction out. Okay, a fraction of an inch out. One more time. Ooh, getting closer, but I'm not quite there. So I can see this blank area right here, so I need to push out another fraction of an inch. I'm gonna erase those marks. And I'm still, woo, still not getting centered, and that's okay. Sometimes it takes me a little time to, to get things centered. Great, now my line is going all the way around so I know that I'm, I'm centered and I feel pretty good. Sometimes I'll just tap a little bit just to make sure that I have it aligned. Okay, I'm gonna stop my wheel. And I'm gonna lug my plate down onto my wheel. I'm gonna take the flat side of my trim tool and just like your other forms, you wanna trim in and establish the outside foot ring first. So you don't want to trim in first. You always want to trim from the outside in. So that way you can establish the profile. So I'm just going to remove the bulk of clay here. And I remember that this is about a half an inch thick. So there's quite a bit of weight. Okay. The dogs are making a star appearance here. And I really spend some time trimming this down and feeling the weight of it. Sometimes I'll press a little bit, see if it has that spongy texture that tells me that things are getting pretty thin. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna trim out the interior. And I take my time with this. I really whoop, establish. Where my foot ring is gonna be placed. And I personally do not like all these little trim lines. 
that I see across my form. And I don't really actually often use the big trim tool when I trim. I like the sharper, smaller trim tool. But in this case, I will use the wider trim tool to remove all those unattractive trimming lines. Just clean this. And I only like to do this at the end, just to clean up, because I don't feel like these tools cut very well unless you have a high quality one. I like to use the smaller trim tools to really remove clay. Now, one suggestion is you can trim a deep little notch right into the foot, the outside of the foot ring, and then run your sponge over everything and clean it up. The reason I would maybe suggest that is because then you make a perfect little indention to put picture hanging wire around your foot so your plate can do double duty as a plate to eat off of and also you can hang it on your wall. So I will carve in or trim in a notch like that so that way I can put picture hanging wire on and tighten it really tight and then if I do a beautiful design on my plate I can always hang it on the wall in my kitchen and then take it down when I need it. This is a great thing to do for platters that are decorative. Okay, so we have our plate here. And then let's do the magic of cutting this in half and seeing how it looks. So, we have a nice even plate here. You can see I probably could have taken off a little bit more. Um, where I placed my star, where I thought the foot ring was gonna go, is exactly where the foot ring wound up being, right where the floor starts to curve up into the wall. So you wanna have a nice elevated foot, and then um, nice trimming, nice and thin. Okay, thanks students.